Well, hello guys, welcome to Daily Tech. Today we're going to be looking at how to get your Samsung device blistering fast with minor animation lag. We're going to start small and work our way to the top. You just have to remember, the aim of doing this is to get your Samsung phone working as fast and smooth as possible. Now, the first thing you need to do would be to jump into your settings, scroll down to the developer options. If you cannot find developer options, you will need to toggle it on by going into your settings, about phone, Tap in on software information and then tap on the build number six times to activate developer mode. Once you're in developer mode, scroll down and change your animation duration scale to 0.5x and leave the others on 1x. As you can see, animation duration scale is just the, the amount of time it takes um, animation to move from A to B. And if you expand the animation time frame, it becomes a, little, a lot slower. And if you shorten it, it makes it feel a little bit snappier. So this is where we're going to start from. And then we move on to the next one. So depending on how much storage your device here has, you can leave your RAM plus between 4GB and 8GB. My S22 Ultra has 256GB of storage and I leave my RAM plus on 8GB. To access your RAM Plus menu, you would need to go into Settings, Battery, Div Battery and Device Care, tap on Memory, and tap on RAM Plus and change as you see fit. Remember, your device will restart once you do this. The next thing you need to do is turn on Adaptive Battery. If it is not on, it usually comes on by default, but it's a good thing to check. So you will need to go into your Settings, Battery and Device Care, Battery, tap on More Battery, settings and ensure adaptive battery is turned on and right next to it you will see the processing speed by default to be on optimized but you will need to move that to high all right we are getting there you would need to change your screen resolution in settings and display to wkhd plus and go back a step and change your motion smoothness to adaptive you know because you're trying to get your device as smooth as possible and trying to get as much quality in your screen as possible. To achieve the next steps, we're going to be using an app from Samsung known as Good Guardian. And if you don't have this app, you need to go into your Galaxy Store and install Good Guardian. And in this Good Guardian, there are a variety of apps which will be useful to you. The first app we'll be using here is the Memory Guardian. And once it's open, it shows you the amount of, you know, memory space being used uh, or this, right? Now, this is not why we're here. The main reason we are here is here to customize. So usually it will be on the default, which says apply the device default settings. It is optimized for the majority of users. Come down here to quick switching mode. And what does it say? It says keeps, keep more apps in the background. When using the previously used app again, it is more likely to run with the last state of the app, not starting from the beginning. So if you were to open an app, and later on you go use another app and you come back to it and the app has to reload it kind of makes the process a little bit slower so now next thing we need to do would be to look at the thermal guardian which is right here and as you can tell thermal temperature it says manage device temperature your phone has a point or a temperature point that if that temperature point is met your phone or your device begins to throttle but what this tends to do is it tends to cause lag tends to cause um, your phone to be a little bit sluggish due to the throttling that is ongoing and the way you do that is by moving this right here so now it says the thermal threshold will be increased by two degrees from default what this does is it does allow your phone to get warm but even if your phone is warm it doesn't this, it doesn't stop the background processes your phone is still able to do what it needed to do so the next one is galaxy app booster and let it load up as you can see it says you have got 718 apps here that can be optimized and my last optimization was five days ago and if you scroll a little bit up you can see only optimized applications used in the past 30 days so what this does is it allows you to optimize all your apps so when you need to use those apps they are absolutely fast the other thing, good thing about this galaxy app booster is it also encourages you to optimize the apps after an update so once you've done an update so every you know you get your monthly update so after every monthly update it's always good to use this app to boost your apps in the other video i used the um, bixby routines to show you guys how to run this galaxy app booster every week if needed depending on what you wanted to do but when you then tap on optimize now as you can see it begins to optimize and as you can see it's doing it in the background so you can do other things while the app is boosting itself so these are the list of things that 
when you combine all of them together it will allow your device to work as smooth as possible so you know it's nice and quick uh, let's tap on this jump out let's tap on that jump out let's go in there jump out anyways you guys try this out try the different settings especially with your ram plus and see if it makes a difference to use with a ram plus or you know turn off ram plus but try it out and let me know how it goes and hopefully it all works out as well as it's worked out for me on this note i'll catch you in the next one stay safe